What's up everyone, how's it going? In this video I'll be showing you how to fix controller issues with the Crew Motorfest. So I'm just going to get straight to the point with the first method here and that's just to change the controller for a different controller if you're able to. So I've got a PlayStation controller right now and it just would not work, it's not an official controller I will add, but it just would not work with the game. Now I just plugged in my Xbox controller and it just instantly worked. But also I want to say load up the game and then plug in the controller as well. Don't plug it in before launching the game. Just launch up the game, don't touch your keyboard or mouse and then plug in the controller. And you should be able to just press start to go straight into the crew. Now if that didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing you're going to want to do with the controller issues you're having is go to options. Now once you're in options, you're then going to want to go down to controls. Enter into controls and then just make sure everything in here looks okay. So just have a quick scroll through and make sure you're happy with all the settings and obviously everything's turned up and how it should be. Now if everything in there is okay, the next thing that we want to do is just close down the crew and go to Windows. Now before we go any further, I just want to say I have created a program called Easy Game Utility and it's currently on offer. This program will help you out fix many issues with PC games and other related tasks to really help us gamers out. You can currently get the program for $5.99 for 12 months or $19.99 for a lifetime. If you want to be a supporter, an absolute legend, then you can pay 109 and that obviously allows you to have your name within the credits on the program. So that's enough about EGU anyway, let's just close that down. But I will add the link in the description below if you want to check it out. Now the first thing that we want to do is right click on the start menu icon and you're then going to want to go to settings and then update and security. I know it's simple and easy, but just make sure you have the latest updates installed for Windows. Now once you've done that, we now want to close this down and you then also want to go to the manufacturer's website for your controller and also update to the latest driver for your controller. Now if you've already done that and you do have all the latest Windows updates and drivers installed, you now need to right click on the start menu icon again and then go to settings. Once you're on settings, we now need to select devices and you then need to just find your controller within the device list. So you can see there I've currently got a Rock Candy Gamepad plugged in. It's actually an Xbox 360 style. So you just simply want to go remove device and go yes. Now unplug the controller and well, once it's finished removing, unplug the controller and plug it in again. So I'm just going to do that so you can see it gets re-added to the list. And there we go, as you can see the controller has now been re-added. So that's absolutely fine, that's working as it should. So you now need to just close down settings. Now go ahead and launch the crew mode first again and see if that resolved the problems you're having with your controller. If it didn't, then you now need to open up the start menu and type in control panel. Open up control panel, change the few by to small icons and you're then looking for devices and printers. Open this up and then find your controller. You now need to right click on the controller and go to game controller settings and you can see there it currently says OK for the status. If we go to advanced, just make sure that's on the controller it should be. We then need to go OK and go to properties and you then just need to test to make sure the controller is working within Windows as it should. So if I grab my controller, you can see that it is moving, which means Windows detected the controller's working fine. So seeing as it's working here, that then suggests to me, if this controller wasn't working within the crew, that it just means that the crew does not support my controller. So I'd need to use a different controller. If you go across to settings though, we can still do a few more things. And that's to click on reset to default. Once you've done that, go ahead again and try the game. If that didn't work, then right click on the controller now and go troubleshoot and see if Windows can detect any problems. But as you can see, I know the controller's working and it couldn't troubleshoot or identify any issues with my controller. That does now bring me to the end of this video. So the other thing that you could do if none of the methods have helped is to try a different USB slot on your PC. 
If you did enjoy this video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more, then click the subscribe button.